a total of three person nine hundred. Yeah. 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 That so means three hundred each. Yeah. Thai people three hundred now expensive. Uh, Thai people three hundred, but because my ID card from Sumut Pakan. This is pretty cool though. Hmm? I mean, the guy that had this sort of imagination to do this. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Maxine and David came here, and uh, Tony came here as well. It would tell you on your map what these buildings represent. Stuff in Laos and Cambodia, but it's very Indo-Chinese and Thai, Siamese. Style. I mean, and yeah, and I must say I associate. You wouldn't see that with you wouldn't see that type of architecture in Ceylon. He went to with Nung to the ancient to the royal grand palace, didn't you? So you're familiar with all these Ramayana frescoes. And things. These? I think they're probably reproduced from the Ramayana. British. Mm. Very colonial. Yeah. Nineteenth century. Yes, it's Chinese influence. Probably in nineteenth century as well. Oh. Just worth having a look. Yeah, absolutely. See, I don't know what that Ramayana, what you, when you say that, like I recognize these headdresses as Thai, traditionally Thai, but Ramayana is an era in Thai history? It's a Hindu, uh, it's a Hindu um, legend, but they actually have a Thai version of it. Oh, hello! Is it? In, in terms of the time of the Thai culture. <laughs> a drink. It's like a Slurpee. <laughs> An orange Slurpee. It's really pretty around here. This is a miniature version of Bangkok. It was built over the last 15 years. It's kind of what we're going through. And this is still like the Malaysian section. This is a Malay, Malay village. <laughs> elephant ears. I think to Francis, that elephant ears, if it was salty, I like the texture if it was salty as well. about okay how far are we going just around that corner so far and this is still like the Malaysian area of this oh, Bangkok Disneyland is what I'm gonna call it without the rides just inside of one of these structures they have it set up with different artifacts I love the floors actually like a raised area like this in your backyard would be very useful <laughs> for entertaining and parties. Yes, darling. Come and look at you. In there. 
They call them cadias in, in They're like in school ants. And yeah. she just opened the leaf and there they were. But they in Western Australia they have sergeants. Sergeant ants. They're vicious. Yeah, okay, because we have the blue bull ants. Bull ants is what they're called, yeah. Mind you, I haven't seen I've got to say I haven't seen them in a physical yeah. Melbourne. Okay, I bought a car. You what? You can walk with the other Is that actual gold leaf? Hmm. Fabric with some gold on it. Yeah. I think this is a Buddha I've got at home. About, oh, that's not smart. And this is other inlet. Another little inlet. It's so cool in here naturally, isn't it? Yeah. The design of the building. Yeah, yeah. The floor. High ceiling and the, the warm air just goes up. Out the door. And what about when the rain comes in here, like these open spaces? Oh, they've got, they've got a lot of rain. Oh, there. Yeah, you might get a bit of rain. Let's see if it's over there. This is really blowing the wind. Strong wind. I'd love something like this in my garden. God damn, I need to put that down for a sec. Oh. Swap hands, Johnny. Get it on the port. Oh no, it's on the bottom. <laughs> 